This is Caitlin from SciShow Space and Sometimes SciShow. This is Jesse from Animal Wonders Montana. This is Hank Green, who you may know from SciShow and Crash Course and Vlog Brothers. Are there any other places we should know you from? That's a good, that's a good start. This is where Hank is from. So first question for you, Jesse. Yeah. A bat and a ball cost $1.10. Okay. The bat costs $1 more than the ball. How much is the ball? The bat costs $1 more than the ball. You're, it's like flashbacks to the SATs. <laughs> I hate this so much. A dollar. Wait, the bat costs a dollar more than the ball? Yes. The bat costs $1 more than the ball. Mm -hmm. How much is the ball? 10 cents. Am I wrong? You're not wrong, not. except there's another answer. That's right. That's better. <laughs> That's more accurate. So the bat is $1.05. How much is the ball? Five cents. Yes. Most people are with you, and to be honest, the question is designed for you to give that answer. Yes. The question wants you to say that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Which, which is why I knew I was wrong. <laughs> yes? Yes! Yes! <laughs> I was gonna say dollar five, but then yeah. you're like, wait, is it the ball a dollar? So yeah, yeah, yeah. But you corrected yourself like immediately <laughs> as you were talking. <laughs> but there are more questions, and now you may stop and reflect on on what you should be saying. Okay. I don't want this to cause you deep emotional anguish. <sighs> Question number two. Okay. <laughs> if five machines take five minutes to make five widgets, how long do one hundred machines take to make one hundred widgets? 100 minutes. My very first instinct was to say 20 minutes. Oh, interesting. <laughs> My heart is beating so fast oh, right now. No. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, five machines taking five minutes mm -hmm. to make five widgets. So and then we just up, we up the machines and we up the output. So we up the machines to 100. We have oh. an output of 100, but five minutes. Yes! Okay. Because you have five machines making five yeah, widgets, yeah, yeah, yeah. so then you have 100 no, machines. You don't have five machines making a hundred things. Yeah. Yes! That makes perfect sense. It does when you think about it. Yeah. But the, the thing is, with this test, it's not designed to allow you to think about it. <laughs> right? It, it, it wants you to give this really quick answer. Right. That is two from two for Caitlin. <laughs> How many questions are there? I'm job. nervous. Yeah. Oh, brain. Brain. In a lake, there's a patch of lily pads that doubles in size every day. Yeah. It takes the patch 48 days to cover the entire lake. Uh huh. How long does it take for the patch to cover half of the lake? I've heard this one before. Wait, and it takes how many days to fill up the whole lake? It takes 48 days for the patch to fill up the entire lake. So how many days does it take for it to fill up half of the lake? So 47 days? Yes! Okay. <laughs> um, 47 days? So 47 days. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got one Yay! right! <laughs> but I've heard that one before, so yeah. I kind of cheated. You didn't cheat, you thought about it correctly. Okay, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't have my... Yeah. So, so this fun. test is called the Cognitive Reflection Test, and it was developed by American psychologist Shane Frederick, and okay. it was first published in 2005. He first gave this test in over like 35 different scenarios to over 3,000 people. The point of the, the test and why it's named this is that it causes you or it wants you to cognitively reflect. And 33% of the people or one third of the people missed all of the questions. So you have different systems of processing in your brain, which you've probably heard about before. Um, there's a, a theory called dual processing theory, which talks about system one and system two. System one is like your gut response to something. Mm -hmm. it's, it's often referred to as your intuition and it's very fast and quick. And that is the system that wants you to go, oh, of course it, it costs a dollar. Mm -hmm. rather than saying a dollar and five cents. And system two is a more slow Wait and a like second. considered and logical way of thinking that we don't always do, but we have to kind of step back and look at it differently. It's been called sure. thinking fast and thinking slow. When he gave the questions to students at MIT, only 48% of the students could answer all of the questions correctly. At Princeton, only 26% of the students could answer all of the questions correctly. Yeah, it's difficult. Well, don't don't give don't don't try to make any excuses for me. 
I, th I think it's tough. When I first did it, I got the lily pads one correct. I got the bat and the ball wrong. So we're going to move on to the second okay. test, and this is another riddle. Okay. okay. A father and son are in a horrible car accident. Yes. The father dies at the scene, and the son is rushed to hospital. Uh-huh. When the son is being prepped for surgery, the surgeon comes in and says, gosh, I can't perform this operation. This is my son. Who is the surgeon? What do you mean? Who is the surgeon? Who is the surgeon? Oh, wait, okay. Uh, the father and the son are in an accident. The father and the son are in an accident. The father dies at the scene. So this, his father's dead. His father's dead. The son is rushed to hospital. The son's being prepped for surgery. The surgeon walks in and says, oh my gosh, I can't do this. This, this is my son. son. Who is the surgeon? I mean, I have, I have, in the space of looking at you, come up with several different Let's scenarios. talk through them. Let's talk all right. through all the scenarios. Well, there, the are, scenarios, many, there are many different ways in which you could have more than one father. Yes. You could have a gay couple that is your, your parents. Yes. You could have an adopted father and a biological father. Yes. You could have um, a stepfather. Uh-huh. You could have many different stepfathers. Uh-huh. The grandpa? <laughs> you can have a priest who is your father. Like, my father, like, he was in a car with the priest. Yes. That was the, the, in charge of his church. Yes. That father. Yes. And then his actual father is... Yes. But that doesn't make sense. Is this anywhere where we're headed in the right direction? It's one direction. It may not be the right way that I want to drive in my little answer car. <laughs> But, and I like, it's a logic problem, so I'm like, oh, yeah. it's, oh, it's his mother. Okay, you so can also it... have two different parents. Oh, yes. His mom. Ah, oh, God, I'm leaving. <laughs> Bye, Hank. <laughs> that wasn't that hard. Yeah. While Hank's gone, <laughs> I, I just want to say that when I first did this, I thought I was so clever and I said, Obviously, the boy has two dads. That <laughs> okay. was my response. Okay. The question is set up. <laughs> and this test has been done on both men and women, and men and women equally have the same response where people don't think that the mother is the surgeon. It's not just the bias mm -hmm. that we think it's a doctor, mm -hmm. it must be a man. Uh -huh. It is also the fact that you have set it up like this is a quandary. How yes. do you solve this bizarre quandary? And yes. so you're looking for a problem. Yes. Uh, and and looking to solve the problem. Well and it's interesting too because you because you're using all like all the pronouns you're using are uh -huh. male. Yes. And so I wonder It's designed to trick you. It, like uh, yeah, if it, yeah and it's but I wonder what would happen if it was a different like I guess if you're to like if it was like our biases biases about like if the nurse came in, mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh, it's his mother. But mm -hmm. it's also the bias. Yes. <laughs> Hank yeah. left the room. I got hung up on it. But it gets it gets easier to consider these when you know that I'm trying to trick There's a trick, there's a trick, yeah. exactly, yeah. <laughs> there's another test with kids that you may have seen that kind of tests assumptions and things like that. It's called the draw a person test. So kids often ask, like, draw what a scientist looks like or something right. like that. Yeah. And they kind of will see that the kids will more often draw a man who's in a lab coat in a lab or something yeah. like that, where scientists work in all different environments and can be all different people. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's almost a riddle, uh, but I stand by everything I said and I'm not going to say anything else. So I guess the, these questions kind of challenge the assumptions that we have about people when we're not given the full information. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll let you go. Those are good. Thank yeah. you so yeah, much for welcome. asking me thank you. hard questions. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hank, thank you so much for yes. being on BrainCraft. Thank you for humiliating me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>